Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we received Naga's power and are more or less prepared to take down the fell dragon Grima. Though that's very much easier said than done. Let's go ahead and waste our money on a bunch of powered up spells that we probably don't need. Like Thoron, the ultimate sinking lightning attack. We got one of them for free from one of the Risen in the previous battle, but definitely gonna be picking up one of those. Uh, Rex Caliber, that's a great sinking name. Allows the wielder to strike twice. Tharsha doesn't really need that. She strikes twice whenever she wants to. Is that its only extra attribute? No thanks. I'll buy another one of those, I guess. And uh, let's sell some jank. Any bullion? Not with these guys, anyway. Get rid of that. And we got some inventory to mess around with. Robin, get rid of your Arc Thunder. Trade it for some Thoron. And then for Tharja. Tharja Thoron is what they call her. I'm gonna give her the other one we got. And I think we are good to go, more or less. Uh, Alyssa could use a new hammer. Do I have them? She does. Oh, wait, no, we do have hammers. Okay. Uh, we'll take that, just in case. Uh, Lucina, I wanted to give her the. Uh, the, the noble wrap here, which I thought she already had. Frederick, I'm really trying to find a weapon that makes him just uh, one hit KO things again. Just trying my darndest. Sari, I think, is fine. Pain is fine. Lanku is fine. Tharja is more than fine. Tiki's fine. She went through that dragon stone really quickly, though. Uh, no matter, though, because we have unlimited supply. Sumia is good. She's going to get, I guess. Uh, Flavia is fine. Basile is fine. Noe's fine. And you two didn't fight, so you're fine. Uh, let's check out the Barax. One, just one. Is it worthwhile? It's Maribel, so the answer's already no. More experience, hooray, like I care. Up next with the support, Robin and Lucina are still not maxed out. That's crummy. Uh, we got Krom and Lissa, though, for rank A, and Basilo and Flavia have their first communication, so I guess that's cool. How goes the mission I gave you, Lissa? Mm -hmm. It's over. I talked to everyone. I asked them all how I could be a better princess, just like you asked. Hmm. And what did they say? Hmm. A dozen different things. Um, some guy said I... Wait, some guy? Oh, okay, I guess we do have, like, a giant stinking army. It's not just our main character, so I was like, wait, why some guy? Some guy said I should be more calm and stop throwing tantrums. Another person said I should stop being so picky about what I eat, which is weird. Oh, and a certain someone told me to stick my pinky out when I drink tea. Ugh. Really? And the most common response? Huh? What do you mean? No. Surely some people had the same advice, right? What did you hear the most? Well, there was a, there were a whole lot of people who said nothing. Good. So there you have it. Hey. There I have what? I told you you're fine just as you are, didn't I? And the people agree. Uh, yeah, but I still don't. I still don't feel like I'm contributing anything. Right. When you approached people, how did they react? And I mean, before you said anything. I'd bet good coin they all smiled at you, right? Huh? What? No, they. Yeah, I guess they did. <laughs> you make people happy, Lissa. You motivate and inspire them just by your presence. I might instill confidence, but I don't make them happy, and neither would Emery. You think so? Yes. I know so, and believe me, that talent is more useful than you think. Everyone else knows it too, that's why they told you not to change a thing. So if you won't trust my opinion, how about theirs? You're their princess, after all. No, I trust them, I do, but... Then stop worrying. You're going to be a princess all your life. That's plenty of time to figure it out. Just be yourself, and the rest will come naturally. Right. Huh, that actually makes sense. 
Thanks, Crumb. Well, that was a sweet ending. Even though she actually did change in the process of this adventure, we turned her into a stinking axe-wielding slaughterhouse. But uh, minor details, I suppose. Up next is Basile and Flavia. You'd think they would already be at any rank, considering how much they've uh, gone through together. But I guess not. All right. Whoa, whoa, who is this lovely young woman? Perhaps she's seeking companionship. Is that what I was thinking before I recognized it was you, Flavia? Bwahaha! <sighs> yes, and I thought, who is this sad, crusty old man? Perhaps he is lost and confused. Before I heard the tired buffoonery and recognized it was you, Basilo. <gasps> old man? Old! Ahaha! <laughs> Bald and grizzled on the outside, yes, but inside beats the heart of a man half my age. That act may work well with others, but I know you too well, Oaf. Isn't it time you dropped the charade and started acting your age? Hmm. Oh, darn it all. Uh, I suppose you've got a point. I'm old enough to grandfather half the whelps in this army. No. Did you know the youngsters have taken to calling you Gramps? Why, the arrogant little... In my day, we had respect for our elders. Not one of those pups would dare face this Gramps in a battle arena, I wager. <laughs> Assuming you could still find your way there, memory is the first to go, you know. My turn. You're no spring chicken yourself, woman. That is, assuming you are a woman. I doubt anyone's ever managed to prize you out of that armor long enough to find out. Mm -hmm. Speaking of equipment, have I shown you my new sword? I'm told it's sharp enough to slice through mail. Perhaps it's time I tested it on you. Oh, I have a care of where you swing that thing. You'll cut an ear off. I came here to consult with a fellow leader, not to be threatened by a mad witch. What? Consult with a fellow leader? You? Ha ha ha! That's rich. Oh, great. Ogre's teeth, why do I even bother? I give up. Goodbye. Wait, Basilo. I'll stop, I promise. Basilo? Hmm, how curious. I wonder if he truly had something to discuss. I've never maxed this one out before, so I'm interested to see where it ends up. Do I want to change their classes? Hmm. There, I got three skills right there, so it might be for the best. Uh, can they change with a master seal? Uh, what the heck? Convoy... Uh, they cannot. They can only go with second seal. Basile can change into a lot of things. Uh, Great Knight, General... Oh, wait, no, he is a Great Knight, isn't he? Uh, no, he's a Great Knight, General, Berserker, Hero, Knight, Barbarian, Fighter. Uh, hooey. And then with Flavia... Every time I hear Flavio, I want to say Flavio, but like, no, we don't refer to him. Uh, we could use the sex seal to turn her into a bunch of other things as well. Thief, mercenary, knight, trickster, assassin, bow knight, general, great knight. Uh, I really have no idea. It's the end of the adventure, so it's probably not that entirely necessary. So I'm just going to keep on going forward with our adventure. Uh, we have one Anna shop up there that we could check. She has a killer bow. Why not? Take your time. Uh, I was gonna give it to Bustle, but his inventory's all full anyway. So, just get a hold of this in case we need it. Uh, I guess we'll also get that just for the heck of it. Blessed Lance. Maybe it's good for Frederick. I don't know. I'm actually going to give it to Sumia just because it sounds more well suited for her. And Frederick has like a bajillion stinking lances in his inventory. Hopefully one of them will be good enough. Uh, but up next is chapter 25. This is the second to last chapter in Fire Emblem Awakening. Our adventure is coming to a close. Let's see what final challenge we need to face before we take on the Fell Dragon. Really? 
Origin Peak. The fell dragon is indeed here. Remember, Awakener, the power I gave you cannot destroy Grima. I see. It could only put him back to sleep. Indeed. So you know of my lineage? Correct. You possess power not so different from my own. We must find some way to break this unholy cycle. We can't just keep putting Grima back to sleep every few centuries. Otherwise, we merely will his vengeance on our descendants. Hmm. I may know a way. Hmm? Yes, Robin? You have a strategy? Yeah. The other me claimed the dragon and I were the same, yes? If I strike the final blow, he'd be killed by his own hand. Really? Robin, ingenious! Naga, will it work? Perhaps. But there would be consequences. Grima's heart and Robin's are inexorably linked. Dragon and woman can no longer be separated. Therefore, slaying Grima would also cause the end of Robin's life. I realize that. I am ready. Heed me. There is a chance you could survive, but it is small indeed. You have bound your heart to those of many others in this world. If those bonds prove strong enough, they may yet keep you in this reality. However, not even a thousand human friendships surpass the dragon's grip. In truth, you will almost certainly cease to exist. Robin would cease to be? No, we'll find another way. Crom? Wait, you're not thinking clearly. Think about what your sister would have wanted. <clears throat> Emerian would never have asked you to do this! What is one life when weighed against millions? Listen to me. Stop it! You're one of us. You'll always be one of us. There has to be another way. We just have to find it. Promise me, Robin. Promise me you won't do this. Whatever it takes for us to be together, right? Right. You're right, Krom. I'm sorry. Mm. We swore to stand by each other, remember? We're two halves of a whole. Not even a dragon could sever us. <coughs> the time for deliberation is over, Awaker. The Grimly have found us. Father! We're under attack! Our final push before facing Grima. We still can't have our full group with us. Uh, let's see. Who's the boss at the end of this? Was not expecting that. Hmm. Well then. Uh, well we maxed out a couple people so that might sway my choices. I never thought I'd be taking pain out of the party, but I think she's for the best because we're still uh, getting communications with Tharja and Longku. Uh, we'll put Olivia's maxed out. So maybe just Anna. Tiki's also maxed out. Hmm. But we're still working with communications, I guess, so... I think we're just gonna bench pain for now, as weird as that sounds. Now our map, we're pretty bunched up together. Who am I gonna be pairing? Robin and Lucina still haven't maxed out yet. So, we're still gonna work towards that. Um, Basile and Flavia still. I should use the Seed of Trust as well. Um, who's the most detrimental, I wonder? 
It's either these two or these, um, these two, or perhaps also Lucina and Tiki, because I feel like they're going to have a really sweet communication session. I'll save the Seed of Trust for Lucina and Tiki then, if we have a chance to use it later on, I don't even know. Um, Cherish is done with everyone, right? Uh, we can still, I uh, know, we can still have her talk with Noe. Uh, Seiri. With... Hmm. It's Robin Lucina. I was really expecting them to be finished already, but no. I guess this will do. Just making sure. Let's go. Still at your little schemes, butchering Valadar wasn't enough. Do you see what your great struggle has won you? Nothing! Master Grima has returned. The world's fate is sealed. <laughs> or perhaps you simply seek a tender embrace here at the end. Hmm. I'm not completely cruel, you know. Come, I have a kiss for each of you. I don't want your crazy kisses, lady. Be swift, Awaker. Grima's servants will harry you to the very last. You must reach the dragon before it is too late. Does that mean there's a time limit? That, that sound really concerning. I think that means that the enemies aren't going to stop. These are regular dudes who are trying to just bring upon the end of the world. These aren't risen, mindless zombies or slaves. These are real people who think this is the best for humanity. Ugh. Okay, well, Robin teams with Lucina. Noe and Cherish. Tharja, Lanku. Uh, Tiki and... Hmm. We'll do Tiki and Seiri, I assume, would be the better of the two, but actually, no, because let's have Lissa. I don't even know what the heck I'm trying to do here. Tiki with Anna, just so I don't have the two healers together. Uh, Lissa with Seiri, I guess. Oh, I know we have Frederick out in the open. We're going to have Sumia take Krom, uh, wherever he is. Or Krom's going to go with Sumia, rather. Lissa, go with... Actually, going to have Lissa go with Cherish, just so she could uh, heal people quicker. I don't know why I can't pair up with her. Okay, sure. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Cherish is with Noe. Okay, never mind. So, in that case, go with Seiri. Frederick's on his own. God darn it. Um, and I guess that's it. Just don't like how it's always uneven. Oh boy. Let's make that charge. Get on up here. Uh, we'll have Lucina take down this guy. Very good. Oh my god, it's like the second final stretch. I don't even know what to say right now, so I apologize when I'm just like completely like super focused and in the zone. Like, so sick and intense, I don't know how to handle everything that I'm feeling right now. Uh, none of those would work. It's the best one. Uh, Krom. Do we want to risk it? Let's try it. Hopefully I don't regret it. I'll have Lissa heal him in case I need to. Dodge, thank you. Uh, unfortunately it didn't work. I didn't like getting criticals. But level 14's nice. Uh, let's have... 
Lissa. We won't need to heal him because he didn't take damage. So, Seiri's gonna go and. Uh, Matsu's running low. Let's use the silver sword. Here goes. Go do that. Thank you for doubling up. And we're good. Gonna have you two, and oh, you haven't fought in a while, and I could see why. Uh, we'll have you. You guys are really stinking slow, my god. Uh, switch to you, I guess. Um, Tharja can reach this guy. I don't want to kill Steel though. Wait, no, she can't reach him, so never mind. Blanku will just go in the middle, I guess. Cherish and Noe. Uh, I guess we'll take down this guy. Actually, wait, Noe's close to maxing out. Yeah, she's close to maxing out, so we'll go with her. See if we could do that. Dragon up! And one more hit. Thank you. Head over here. Frederick is all in his lonesome, but that's never stopped him from kicking Bute. We could get rid of this guy, but do I want to? Uh, with Frederick, that's the question, because... Um... I guess so, because... Kill Steel, I don't have to worry about that, because... More so Lucina and Robin are trying to get. Okay, it was worth it! I didn't even know what I was trying to say. Like, I'm just trying to focus on Robin and Lucina getting some enemies a, a kill just so they could get their sinking uh, communication session maxed out. But, um, it's a good killing edge. But, like, there's plenty of sinking dudes here for us to fight, so it won't be too uh, difficult to do this time around. Do that. And if it doesn't happen, then I'll just uh, off-screen train right before the end. Uh, enemy phase, let's go! I'm gonna attack Frederick, of course. But it's like 41% chance that hopefully it doesn't work. Uh, this is way too much damage. Oh, they're all attacking from crazy distance. Uh, a bunch of cheap shots. So we could uh, hit this one, right? Yes, we can. And I like how she says, what a loser, or how she misses. Maybe she's saying that to herself, though. At level 14 for Seiri, though. That's very nice. Uh, Noe. Oh, hey, a guy with a killing edge. That's always scary. <laughs> no damage. So much for being scared. But it missed. Oh, geez. Critical. Critical? No damage. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. It's nice to laugh at times. Thank you for defending. And thank you for the critical. Not super concerned if I reach A rank for Krom and Sumia, but it would be nice, I guess, because they are supposedly the cannon ship. Uh, he's using an 11 sword. Any fans of Smash Bros would know what that is. But my Robin is not a physical attacker, so I don't really care to have her use that. No Robin of mine. They're all coming forward. Oh boy, so many dudes. Uh, where is Anna? Anna's over here. Want to spend time healing Frederick? Sure. It's either you or Lissa. Eh? eh? Besides, Anna needs to like get her uh, staff upgrade. It's not going to happen by the end of the game, unfortunately, but I would like it if she had a C, at least a C-rank healing staff. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. I guess that's the one you could attack. Uh, switch to Flavia. She could do more damage at least, so we'll go with that. Using Hector's axe! Legendary axe from a legendary generation. Very cool. Uh, let's see. We'll have you guys. Uh, it hardly matters, I guess, but you have a 2% chance of hitting us, so I guess it's best to go with you. Thank you for dodging. And there you go. I would like to get Krom that uh, skill that Lucina just got before the end, though. That would be really cool. If you could do that, I think he'll get a level 15. So, 
Let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, it's still one HP. Okay, thank you, Sumia. You're awesome. Not quite, but we're getting in there. We're gonna get there. Uh, Frederick, over here. Come on, can we get the famous lion again? Uh, unfortunately not. At least we're still getting it. Oh, uh, 69! It's either Pick a God and Pray or 69. Frederick is the best. Uh, we'll have Noe attack this dude. Let's see if Cherish can uh, jump in and finish this guy off with us. That'd be very, very cool. Uh, whoa. That was really quick. Fortunately not, but he's no real threat. Uh, we'll have Longku over here. Uh, get rid of this guy. And there's a lot of stinking dudes over here for uh, Longku and Tharja to take care of, so they'll be getting a lot of stinking time to get to know one another. I don't know if this is true, but like, it always seems like it's impossible to have like two communication sessions unlocked to you like one after another. So like, I can't get like C rank and B rank for the two of them unlocked at the same time. Maybe it's just because like, I would have to really focus all of um, just having them be the only ones that fight enemies, but I don't know. It seems like I outright can't get them like it'll just cap off if Like I max it out for the next rank at the beginning of this battle. So it won't happen again Um, and I just have to like get it unlocked before I have a More relationship juice start flowing in that could have been worded a lot more eloquently, but it's been and beyond incorporated So what do you stick and expect at this point? Uh, what do we got? Another Meyer guy hitting from afar, but at least Noe's here to give us a little bit of protection. And a lot of bit of protection, it seems. Thank you. Oh god, why are y'all going after Frederick? That's not very nice. What did he ever do to you? He's just telling you to pick a god and pray. God, stinking darn, it's all stinking damage. Oh, they know the weak link just because he's on his own. Come on. No, 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 no. Why is it always Frederick? God, that looks so painful. Oh, whatever. You guys are jerks. Thank you for dodging. Just gotta wait for all these guys to come on down. Oh, joy. <laughs> She's like, oh, joy. These guys, okay. Gonna go for Anna. You're with Tiki. That's good to know. Maybe Tiki can't counter tech? No. no. It would have to be Anna who attacks first. See what you got, bud. 1% chance, G. I'm just gonna laugh if that works, but actually I'd be angry because it'd be on the enemy side. Okay. And finally, Tomahawk. Tomahawk Pro Skater 3.5.2. And Knuckles. Sandwich. Caliber. I don't know. Go and destroy this guy. Get a level up for Flavia. I know I've made bigger strides than this. Uh, they're attacking with the Bologna again, not the Balagna. Uh, Flavia is actually in danger of getting taken down. Let's not have that happen, okay? Thank you. And they're all still coming after us. How many second enemies are left? Can I even check that on the map? 26. Huh. Uh, we will panic. That's what we're gonna do. We will, we will pancake. Hmm. Let's have Lucina and Robin. Kind of want to go back down there, but. And there's enough dudes for them to fight up here, so. Uh, that's risky business for Krom, so I'm gonna put him right here. Attack this person. And another level up for him. Does he get a new skill by any chance? He does! He gets the rifle cane. Very nice. Not sure if he'll get another skill because, like, I mess up with. Uh, changing his class too early, so for that reason he won't get maxed out skills, unfortunately, but whatever. Minor, minor details. We're gonna be kicking butt no matter what. 
them. Very, very nice. Uh, what do we got now? Uh, we'll have Anna get rid of this guy just because she can. Might as well get rid of somebody. Uh, thank you for dodging. As if really we're at risk because they're at 1%. Are we getting tired of this commentary yet? I wonder just how much I could branch out. I don't know why, but I thought she was going to say something like, I wonder just how much I could, like, sell this corpse on eBay or something like that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if Anna tried selling corpses on eBay, if eBay existed in the old timey times. How long are we going to be in yield timey times? When do we get, like, the futuristic Fire Emblem game? It seems like we're sort of going there. Uh, is every Fire Emblem game a sequel? Like, it's always, like, forward in the timeline? I think it is. I don't think we've ever gone backwards, aside from, like, Shadows of Valencia, but that was a remake, so it's the count. Um, I wonder if that's the case, though, because the school setting of uh, this game right here, of three houses, it seems like we're going to be somewhat futuristic, or just more futuristic than the series has been. Uh, because they didn't have schools back then, obviously. No. Uh, she could get rid of one of them. I don't want her using her brave axe, though. It's such a great weapon. Uh, I'll just have Noe attack from afar. Just do a little bit of damage, I guess. Still trying to get her maxed out anyway, so... Hello, thank you. Level 29, only one more to go and she'll be good. It's so weird not having pain here, though. It'd be even weirder if Tharja wasn't here. Uh, it'd also probably be a million times more difficult if she wasn't here, though, so I'm okay with her being with us. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy, I guess. Very good! Just watch that HP scroll on down. Uh, we will have you guys attack. Huh. Oh, uh, we'll go with that then. I'll see you with a hammer. Like whack a mole up in here. There's more where that came from. Very, very cool. So, uh, I guess just so I could give you some sort of conversation, because I feel kind of bad that it's been like too businessy uh, in this episode right now. Um, I've been looking to try and finish my PS3 collection. The last games I'm looking for are Sly 4, uh, Thieves in Time, I think it's called. Uh, as well as uh, Eternal Sonata. And then there's some other games I'm somewhat interested in. There's, they're all trilogy games. There's the Mass Effect trilogy, uh, Jack and Daxter trilogy, and Ratchet and Clank trilogy. The only reason I'm kind of holding out on it is because I want it on PS4. PS3, I just like, it isn't difficult to play it just on its own because it's just HDMI, so it's not difficult to set up or anything like that, but for recording purposes or streaming it, which is what I quite want to do with those games, it would be a pain in the booty. Uh, oh god, that was a... Uh, oh Jesus, what the heck has my neck been doing? Oh my god, I'm sorry if you could hear that. Oh my god. I just need to crack that, sorry. Um, yeah, I am holding up just because I wouldn't be able to stream because I have such horrible memories of recording stuff on a PS3. It's like a single nightmare to get any of that stuff done because like the cable box thing they got attached to it because it has a protection thing to where they won't let you attach a recording device to it. Uh, unless you use component cables and it's all garbagey if you do like that, so I had to like use a weird setup, but now it like doesn't work anymore, so I just don't want to mess with it anymore. I'd rather just get PS4 games. And PS4 is like a lot of ports of uh, like big heavy heavy titles, so like would those trilogy games be worth it for them, I wonder? Uh, I would certainly hope so, because I would like to get them on those consoles. Uh, or on that console, on the PS4, rather than PS3. But yeah, Sly 4 and Eternal Sonata, though, are definitely probably going to be the last PS3 games, but maybe I'll get those trilogy games as well. It's just like, it's so cool whenever, like, it's a convenient thing and just, like, good price-wise when you get all those collection packs all in one disc and at a really good price. So I'm very much a fan of the Spyro and Crash Remastered trilogies uh, and the bundle that came with it. I got the... Like, I got them in, like, a bundle t to where, like, it was cheaper to get the bundle than uh, both of them separately. It was, like, $50 for both of them together. 
and then it came with like this little uh, cardboard sleeve that held two of them together. It wasn't like a special box or like a special disc that had all six games on it or anything like that. It was literally just a little cardboard uh, folder holding the two of the games together on the inside. So it's just the cardboard that was special. Special cardboard. It's like Nintendo Labo. Right. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got that. I still haven't played it yet, so that'll probably become a stream thing. Uh, but Ratchet and Clank and, and uh, Jack and Daxter, I know that's, those are very beloved games to a lot of other people as well, so I'd like to be able to play those at some point. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. As for Mass Effect, it's more so because like I hear that is the absolute best uh, uh, story choice game, whatever you would call it, like kind of like Walking Dead and Life is Strange, where, where it lets you like make your own story and whatnot. I've heard that Mass Effect is the absolute best in that regard simply because it actually has branching out paths that actually matter your choices don't get like sort of just pushed into the same direction no matter what you choose it actually is like straight up rewriting the entire game having completely different experiences from beginning to end throughout three different games which are all really long depending on how you play it so i'm interested in it for that reason so i know the gameplay doesn't seem like it's my cup of tea but uh, maybe just I've I'm interested enough just hearing about how ambitious it is in terms of these uh, branching paths with the story so I'm really excited to experience that one day it's just a matter of time though because I never have time for stinking anything I really guess push myself to just stream more because of uh, I gotta like I was really happy of like with all the um, progress I was making with the Kingdom Hearts streams and it just sort of halted after I uh, finished those so I should just force myself to like stream every day, even if it isn't like at a good time or whatever. If it doesn't have to be crazy long, it could just be like, uh, whatever. So, um, let's see. You're a silver, your sword user, so I should keep you around so I can counterattack you. Uh, wow, well, you're like the only sword user though, so that's kind of lame. Uh, we'll attack with Long Q. Uh, but yeah, I just gotta like push myself back into streaming. I always have like the excuse of like having the computer far away. It's like, oh, I gotta get up and set the computer up, and no, I don't wanna do that. But it's right on top of my computer right now. The laptop is right on top of my computer right now, where I normally sit. So I really have no uh, excuse for it right now. A uh, sword flare. What is that? Uh, we gotta wait to find out what that does. But yeah, I really have no excuses right here. Already set up. I just need to like actually do it. So. Maybe when this is all calmed down though, once I finish recording this LP and the final LP I need to record for year seven. Are we in year seven already? Jeez. Like not already, but like it's been like half over at this point, but oh my god, what the heck happened? Where'd the time go? Okay. Just keep on taking hits. Uh thank you for dodging or blocking that rather. Uh, reinforcements are coming. Uh I don't know how that happened. Uh, renewal stores 30% HP at the start of each turn. How long have you had that, Lissa? That's stinking awesome. Uh, okay. Not gonna question it. As for Long Ku, he has Sword Flare, or Sword Fair, Grand Strength plus 5 fusing a sword, Magic plus 5 fusing Levin Sword. So basically, he's just even more of a beefcake than he already was. Good to know. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy, I guess. For this gal, excuse me. Uh, just gonna get rid of him. Or her, I can just keep messing it up. Sure, why don't I? Uh, you two could... Uh, he's got a sword, so we're gonna get rid of the non-sword user, so... We'll make sure to get him in the counter-attack. And Flavia's gonna murder someone! What else is new? Level up. Booty, 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 boo. Only two booty. How sad. But two booty still booty. I appreciate every booty amount you get in life. Okay. Uh, Robin Lucina. Risky business if I just shove you up here with all these dudes. And she can't even KO him. Unless Robin steps in. I know for a fact Robin could decimate any armored unit, but I don't really want her too. We'll have Noe right here, though. Uh, how do you? How come you always disappear after battles? Did you pick up a hobby? I try to wash and mend their clothes. Fashion like this is hard to come by. Okay, that better stick and max it out at the end of this. I swear to God. 
Uh, head up here. Head up here. Uh, we'll put you right here. You're with who again? You're with Sayri? Okay. I'll do that then. And I guess I'll give you people to choose from, but I want to make sure they get experience and friendship and all that jazz. Let's see how it plays out. Go for Noe, okay. 21% chance, though I doubt it's gonna work. But now they said it in a condescending voice, it is, but now they acknowledge it isn't. Hooray! You know how it plays out. It's always gotta go see that, and it doesn't do anything. Okay, now it's up close and personal. Not gonna like the outcome, buddy, just saying. Yeah, I'll say. Going for Sayri now, okay. She doesn't have her slinging sword. What well, decides whether or not you could throw the slinging sword at the enemy? What well, makes the other one so special where that is the only one that you can actually just throw at them? Like a slinging dart or whatever. Okay, he's gonna go for a long coup. Just like picking his poison, basically. He certainly will. 99 HP. Get that level up. He's at 16 now. Better. Uh, going over here now for Sayri. It would certainly be helpful if we had the dancer still with us, or just someone who had dancing skills, just so uh, we could have, like, for example, with trying to max out Robin and Lucino, just so we could have them take out multiple enemies in a single turn. That would be useful, but unfortunately, we just had to have a kick butt Olivia instead. Instead of a dancing Olivia. She could still be the dancing queen, it's just that her dancing has no magic behind it. Player phase, let's go! Uh, where is. Okay, there he was like, where is. Uh, I guess we're gonna go for these guys. Go do that, and that. No problem whatsoever. Now for Krom and Sumia, we'll do this. Whip out that sword. You know, technically, the fact that the sword's always in the ground when he shows up to the battlefield, like, he basically pulled it out of the ground, ran over to this place, put it back in the ground, just so he could pull it back out of the ground again and hit the enemy and then put it back in the ground. Krom, you're a weird one. I guess he just enjoys that satisfaction of pulling the sword out of the ground. Uh, no matter how many years pass, I'll always try to get that sinking sword out of the ground at Disneyland. It's gotta come out, right? Like I saw in commercials, it's gotta be real. Oh, they can't possibly be taunting me, can they? Uh, I kind of want to leave the enemies here just so I could force them to like, a, so I could get these guys to kill them. Because I know that we're going to go over here instead. I don't know. We'll see what that does. Um, Basilo and Flavia, you will take care of uh, this guy. So we got a well, we got Thorn user, so we should get rid of them. What about switching? Uh, he's going to die. That's not good. Guess we'll get rid of them. So, just because that's a guarantee. Very good. I wish that I could heal Basilo, but oh well. It's Basilo. I can't believe I made that reference. I blame my friend who's obsessed with that song for some reason. Uh, Lanku, get her. Uh, just dodge that, and we're good. Who dies next? Uh, good question, Lanku. Good question indeed. Oh, there's Sparkly Warkly over here. My one weakness. Um. I don't know who I'd want to send over for that. Let's end the turn. Hopefully I don't regret that. 70%, so this is just inevitable. Oh, she did like a double backflip. Good job, Flavia. Just a 10%, Krom is fine. How did you do that? Okay, so it can happen sometimes. 40%, okay, you dodge the 40%, I'm fine with that. Dodge that. Step aside, smash their face in. Oh, it didn't KO them. That's lame. Okay, get rid of this one though. 
Uh, thank you. The real superpower of teamwork, you certainly can. Level up. I know I've made bigger strides than this. And they're still going for them, thinking that they were a weak prey because they were new. You made a terrible mistake. Uh, just dodge that, thank you. And more guys are showing up. Uh, phooey. I'll leave. I'll leave Noe and Cherish to treasure hunting duty. Is that the only treasure here? It looks like it. Uh, switch to Cherish just so we can actually move in the next step. Uh, cycle. Uh, Robin. Can't do that. You can do that, though. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it. It's like she knows me. Another level up for Lucina. Really wondering who the MVP is going to be this time around. We might actually get Lucina maxed out to level 20 in this uh, area. That'd be crazy. Uh, not quite with them. Hmm. Because let's just weaken them a bit. Or you get a critical and possibly kill them. Uh, not quite. You're just doing like a lot of singing combos. It's appreciated though. And you're gonna do it again. Okay. That's weak enough to where Krom can finish it off. I appreciate it. Let's do it. Very, very nice. I wanna learn how to swing the sword around like that. It looks like glowy. Well, I guess we just uh, got it powered up recently, so guess that has that effect on it. Hut, 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 hut. Uh, who's left? Just you guys. Uh, Lanku, take care of them. Yay, danger! Oh my god, you're funny. Very, very nice. And finally... You know, maybe it's okay that, like, we don't have super sophisticated or, like, deep conversation. Because, like, Fire Emblem is, like, chess, so we just gotta, like, be deep in thought and, uh, not lost in thoughts all alone, but deep in thought all together with our friends. Um, just deep in thought, like, scoping out the battlefield, so it's okay that, like, I don't have, like, anything crazy or intense to say right now. It's just a chill time, not like a chill time, but, like, we're just, uh, strategically scouting out the best decision for the next move and maybe you guys like playing along too and making decisions that are better than me and then getting mad at me when I don't do it. That's always fun. Uh, more and more reinforcements. Go, 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 get the treasure. Uh, let's see. They're all gone. Uh, Krom could reach. I don't want her to fly over here though. She can't. Okay, cool. Krom attack this guy then. No more attacking from afar. Great Aether! Stick it in the ground, good. Uh, can't go back around. There's anyone close by for us to fight, but... I'll keep them close by. I'll let them come to us. You want to fight so badly, you're going to have to come to us. I'm not walking all the way back. I will get the extra experience eventually, but you're going to have to stink and walk over here for me to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. I was like, uh, should I switch to Tharja just this once? But nope. No need to do that. My god, Sink and Long Koo was insane. Uh... Switch to Basilo just because he hardly ever gets uh, any time in the sunlight. There we go. Victory is served. And he gets a level up. Finally sharing the level ups this time around. Uh, if Lissa was activated, we could have healed her from afar, but no. I guess we'll just wait. Enemy phase. They're just pushing forward. Even more. My god. I don't think they'll ever stop coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. What do we got right here? It's 
experience. Cool. Huh. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy, I guess. I would like it if you helped us rob it, or we don't need it. Come on, 42 damage? Not. Okay, there you go, double hit. Yeah, like you said, Lucina. Oh boy. Uh, Krom can on come on down here. Krom on and slam. And hey, welcome to the jam. Actually, we could just have Basile stand right here to heal himself. That's useful. Uh, just gonna wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I should probably give this up. There's not. I think that warning from Naga at the beginning was telling us, hey, they're not gonna stop. Just go and kill the boss already, you fool. Well, I guess I'll do that if you must have me do so. Let's go over here then. Because they're not gonna be stopping. Uh, let's have them go over here. You can't catch me up here, suckers! Unless you have a flying unit, in which case you can. Oh god. Go over here, switch, wait. And just run along here. We fought enough dudes already. Hopefully I got all the sinking rank ups I needed. And yep, they're just gonna keep on coming, so let's take down this boss already. Uh, we can't reach him. Well, Sayri could chuck a sword at her, but I don't want her to. Uh, let's just avoid them a little bit. And let's see what you got. Anyone gonna reach us right at the final stretch? I thought, like, the way she's warned us, I thought it sounded like we had a limited amount of turns before, like, a volcano erupted or exploded or something, but no, it's just that there's a bajillion enemies, don't bother waiting for them. Even more! Goody! Uh, Krom had the final hit last time on this person, so maybe Robin would be good for this one? Or Lucina? Okay, hello! Uh, one hit KO. Well, one hit KO. We'll give it to Lucina just because Robin's in the group. Murderers! You'll pay for taking Master Validar from me! We can do it. You will not stop me. That could have felt better. Ah, finally, sweet death. Finally, the pain. Finally, it ends. <laughs> what was that? The dragon's call. <sighs> Grima. It's all right. We could defeat him. <laughs> My lord, how does a man challenge a mountain? Where would one even strike? <sighs> the fell dragon has a weakness on the nape of its back. But that weakness will be guarded by his servants. I can send you onto the dragon's back, but the rest is in your hands. Right. Then please, my lady, and quickly, we would ask no more of you. Everyone, grid yourselves. One way or another, this ends here. If you're ready to take on the ultimate challenge, then just enter the end game 
and put a stop to Grima's return. However, next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are going to be taking a bit of a detour. Kind of a bad time to be doing it, I know, but it only gets unlocked to us after Chapter 25, so let's just hope it's worth it, whatever we're going to be doing. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.